guys, welcome to today's video. So we are doing a get ready with me today and we're just gonna sit down, chit chat, and play with some new makeup. There's a, been a bunch of new makeup that I've been testing out lately and loving. You saw a bunch of it in my last couple videos. And we're just gonna sit down and play with it today and that way you can see how it all looks together and how it applies and why I love it so much. So if you wanna stick around and see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so let's just get started playing with some new makeup here. This is just what I love to do. I love days where I just get to like play with makeup and just try new things. It's so fun. So today I'm going to use that Juice Beauty, the Photo Pigments Illuminating Primer. This is the one I showed you guys in that haul video. I'm just going to pump a little bit of this out and it's like a serum -y kind of consistency. You only need a little bit and I'm just going to apply that all over. Like I said, this feels really good on the skin. It feels very like, I don't know, it feels like skincare. It doesn't feel like a primer. I like the way it feels a lot and it just really gives the skin like a really pretty glow. And then I'm gonna show you guys the Juice Beauty Serum Foundation. It's the Photo Pigments Flawless Serum Foundation. This is the new one that just came out. It's organic, just like the primer. These are really good for your skin. They don't have any harsh chemicals, so I'm loving that. Um, so I'm going to apply this. I actually got a new It Cosmetics brush. This is the It Cosmetics the Airbrush Serum Foundation Brush. So I picked this one up. You guys know I love my foundation brushes from It Cosmetics. So they came out with a serum one that's made for like the serum type of foundations, which is what I use a lot of. So I was really curious about this. It's actually a smaller size like head than I thought it was gonna be, but it really does a really beautiful job at buffing in the foundation. So I'm gonna use that. And I am just going to do one side of my face at a time so you guys can see like the coverage that this gives because it's really, really good. All right, so let's just buff that into one side. I always bring my foundations over my eyelid. Do you guys see the difference between the sides of my face? Like, look at how flawless this is. I'm telling you guys, and it dries super, super fast. It's not tacky. It feels amazing on the skin. You can see the coverage that it gives right now see i have some redness on my cheek this just totally just covers and just makes your skin look flawless i am so in love with this foundation guys it's awesome and this brush is really good too like i said if you use a lot of serum foundations this one is just dense and it just really buffs the serum foundations into your skin really nice okay so there is the full face of foundation i'm telling you guys perfect beautiful foundation Organic, no less, so it's good for your skin. I am in love. I have worn this now a bunch of times. It never settles into fine lines or pores or anything like that. It stays flawless. So that is exactly the coverage that it gives. I am in the shade medium tan, which is a perfect match for me. I recommend that foundation for sure. Definitely check that out. Okay, I'm gonna go do my brows quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna do the eyes next. We're gonna take the base of all bases. This is that Dolce & Gabbana, the perfect mono nude cream shadow. If you are new to my channel, this is seriously the best like eye primer. I like this one so much more than like using MAC Paint Pots. I feel like this one is so much more like hydrating to the eye. The MAC ones are kind of like drying, I feel. This one is the perfect shade too. Like, can you see the difference between the two eyes? It's just like awakens your eye. Okay, so eye look is done for the day. <laughs> just joking, but yeah, I honestly will take this, just put it on my eyelids, throw some mascara on, and then I'm out the door. It just makes your eyelids look so much better and like more awake. So some days, a lot of days, I'm not gonna lie, I'll take this in mascara and I'm done. But we are gonna play with the Tom Ford Eyeshadow Quad in Disco Dust. This is the one I wore in my last video. It's the one that you can more easily get your hands on, so I figured I will do this one today because that way, if you guys are interested in it, you can pick it up. A lot of times, if I use something and you guys can't find it, then people get angry, so I'm just gonna use Disco Dust, which is so beautiful. All right, before we start, let me grab some coffee because I'm so tired today. Don't you guys love my mug? It is so fun. This is a funny story, which I'll tell you guys real quick. So when I turned 30, he was still 29. He threw me like a big surprise birthday party and it was a whole cougar theme because he called me the cougar wife because I'm a year older than him. So he threw like this whole cougar theme party. He like had like animal print, like cougar prints all over the walls and everywhere. And then he gave these mugs to everybody that came. So I just love this mug. It's like literally my favorite mug. It just says here little boy with the cougar print on it. And it's just so Brian, isn't it? But it just cracks me up every time I use this mug. And I'm so tired today because 
Brian was away out of town last night and I never sleep good when he's away. It's just one of those things where I feel like a lot of, like I talk to a lot of my friends and when their husbands go out of town, like we, can, we can't sleep. Like we hear every little noise, we worry about everything and we just get no sleep. So I'm on my second cup of coffee, which is so not like me. Okay, so let's get back to disco dust. So what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna play with this a little bit differently today. How do I wanna do this? I think I'm gonna take the dark shade and we're gonna put that in the crease today. And like I said, these shadows are so blendable and so easy to work with. I always kind of concentrate like most of the color on the outside and then I just kind of blend it inwards. All right, so then I'm gonna take this beautiful like rose tone shade. It's so, so pretty, you guys. I'm gonna take that and apply that to the lid. And then I'm gonna take that sparkly shade, which I showed you guys, that's more like of a sheer formula. I'm gonna take that and just apply it to like the inner corners. I'm like, the inner corners? Like I said, don't be worried about this like sparkly shade because it's not like it's like a crazy, like fallout sparkle. It just is like a really kind of sheer sparkle, if that makes remotely any sense, probably not, but, and it just kind of illuminates where you put it. It's just really pretty. It's not anything like over the top sparkly or crazy or anything like that. But I just kind of, you can do a lot with it really, but today I'm just going to kind of blend it just right in the corners. All right, then I'm gonna take that same dark brown shade that we used in the crease, and I'm just going to take a denser, like this is the Makeup Geek Outer V brush, and I'm just going to apply that just slightly more to the outside, just to the outer V, and then just darken that up a little bit, and then we'll just blend that out. All right, taking a clean brush, I'm just going to blend that out, just drag it out, and just darken up that outer part. All right, so that is gonna be the extent of the eye look today, except when we do the underneath. But you can see it is so easy to work with, so pretty. I just love this quad. I love everything about it. The colors are gorgeous. You can kind of do a mixture of looks with it. It's awesome. So that is that for now. So let's curl our upper lashes and we'll finish that upper part. Actually, no, what am I doing? No, scratch that. I forgot I want to do my liner first. I'm just going to do a very easy liner today, just lining the base of the lashes. I'm not going to do a wing today. I just want to kind of, I'm kind of getting over the wing look, to be honest. I like Maybe I'm just getting sick of doing it, but I'm really into just the very minimal eyeliner look lately. So I'm just gonna take the Marc Jacobs, this is the fine liner pencil. I love, love, love this. Such a good eyeliner just to get right at the base of your lashes. So I'm gonna do that. All right, and then I like to take a liquid liner. This is the Makeup Forever Ink Liner. And I just like to go over my liner with a liquid liner. I just feel like it makes it a little bit more intense. And I just like the way that looks. So I'm just gonna go right over that line I just made and just kind of dig into those lashes. Okay, so now we are gonna curl our lashes. Again, best eyelash curler ever. Okay, using the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel. This is still my favorite mascara. I have tried that new Marc Jacobs, um, that volumizing one. Where the heck is that? I forget. Oh, here it is. The Marc Jacobs, the Noir Major Volume Mascara. That's a pretty good mascara, actually. It did good. It just wasn't as good as the Chanel one, in my opinion. Okay, so to finish off the top area of the lashes, we're gonna go back with that Marc Jacobs Fine Liner, and I'm just gonna do the waterline of the upper lashes. This is the perfect pencil to do the waterline. It just is so smooth, so creamy, it doesn't budge, and it gets right in those lashes. Okay, so now we can move on to concealer. So I'm gonna use the By Terry Terribly Denseless Concealer today. I am back to this concealer. I still love this concealer like the very best. I like the Makeup Forever Ultra HD a lot. I've been using that a lot, and I like the Urban Decay Naked Skin one, but this one is still my favorite. I still feel like this one gives me the most flawless under eye. Sometimes when I'm wearing one of the other ones, I will look back at a video or a picture or something and I'm like, hmm, my under eye could look a little bit better and it's because I'm not wearing this concealer. I just feel like this one just smooths the under eye so much more. I feel like sometimes with the other ones, I kind of see a little bit more lines and stuff and this one you just don't. So 
I just feel like for more like mature under eye situation going on, this concealer is still the best. All right, so enough rambling about this concealer. I'm gonna use number three, Natural Beige, and we're just going to apply that. Whatever's left like on the wand, I just kind of go up here. And I'm gonna use the Artiste brush. I love this for a concealer brush. It's so, so good. It's just like really smooth and flawless. Okay, so we got the concealer blender. I'm gonna take the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder and the Wayne Goss number two brush. And we are just going to set our concealer with this awesome duo here. Just gives you the most flawless under eye. Okay, so finishing off the eyes, I'm just going to go in with that darker shade in the eyeshadow quad. I'm gonna take the It Cosmetics Smudger Brush and we're just gonna lightly smudge that around the lower lashes. Okay, so then we're gonna take the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara and finish off the lashes. Okay, so moving on to the face now, I'm gonna take the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium Plus, and I'm just gonna set the outer portion of my face. I'm just gonna take a big fluffy brush, and we're just going to set the makeup anywhere where I'm not using like cream products, because I'm gonna use cream products today, some of them at least, and I always just kind of set around that. Okay, now we're gonna take the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate that I showed you guys in Monday's video. <gasps> the gorgeous, gorgeous blush and cream highlight. These are just so beautiful. I could wear these every day and be totally fine with it. I love it so much. So I'm gonna take the It Cosmetics. I don't remember what this brush is called. I'll link it down below. All this stuff will be linked down below. But I always get asked what brushes I use for like cream products. And this is my favorite by far for like cream blushes. So what I do is I just take it, it's like an angled brush. I just take it and I just dab a little bit onto the brush, you just kind of dab it in there. I forgot bronzer. That's right, I'll just do bronzer later. Gosh, I am a mess today. So I'm just going to take this blush and we're just going to apply it to the skin. Just in like dabbing kind of motions. I don't sweep it. I just kind of dab it on. So, so gorgeous. And this blush, you can build it up. You can make it a higher intensity color if you want. Oh, I just love everything about this. And look at that blush, look at the glow it gives. And we haven't even touched the illuminator part yet. Look at that, it is so beautiful. All right, so because I forgot the bronzer, we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics. This is the CC Plus Radiance Ombre Bronzer. I've had this forever and I've been pulling it out lately and I just forgot how good and how pretty it is. So I'm gonna take that bronzer today. We're just gonna get some on the Bobbi Brown Bronzer Brush. I bet a lot of you guys have this bronzer too. It's like an oldie but a goodie and like, I totally forgot how pretty it was and I just recently started playing out again. Ugh, don't you hate, if you have blonde hair, when you get bronzer like in your hair and then it looks like you have like a big gold bronzer highlight. So annoying. All right, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of bronzer. I'm not gonna do too much bronzer on the cheeks anyway. I'm just gonna kind of blend that in with the blush. Okay, and now we're gonna go back to the illuminator shade and I'm just gonna pat that in. I just use my fingers for this and it's just so easy to blend onto your skin. So I'm just gonna take some of that, get my finger in there and then I just start dabbing it on. And I go all the way up the temple and then all the way down. And look at that glow. And this cream illuminator shade is so easy to work with, like insanely easy to work with. You just dab it into skin and it just blends and melts into your skin and you are left with the most gorgeous cheekbones that you could ever possibly imagine. Okay, then I'm gonna take the By Terry Hydro Powder again and just with like a bigger, fluffier brush, I'm going to just set the T-zone because I really didn't set the T-zone and that I always set. but this powder is the perfect, perfect T-zone setting. It just seriously blurs everything 
and creates the most flawless look to your skin. So that I always use, it's a must. Okay, so let's finish this up with our lips. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Your Lips But Better, the lip liner in Buff Nude. This is one of my favorite lip liners of all time. I use this sucker and pull this guy out all the time. It just goes with everything. All right, and then we're gonna take that Clay de Po lip gloss that I told you in the shade number two. Wait till you see this, it's so gorgeous. Like I told you, it has that most beautiful, like iridescent look to it. And, oh, I love it. This is such a great gloss to wear on its own or over top of lipstick. You could even just do this in the center. Oh my God, that would look so pretty. It just gives you those like juicy, plump lips because of that iridescence in it. It's so pretty, guys. This is honestly one of the best glosses I've ever used. It is not sticky. It is so comfortable on your lips, but it somehow makes your lips look so flawless. I'm just totally in love with this gloss. It's so gorgeous. Okay, guys, so that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think it came out really, really beautiful. I love the way the eyes turned out and of course this highlight and illuminator and the lip gloss. I love it all. So hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and just having fun and trying on some new makeup today. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you did and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!